Hello, everybody. Welcome to Town Hall Auditorium, Town Day 2024. You persevered through this weather. Give yourself a round of applause. All right, we're a little late here, so we're going to try to catch up. We're going to start with our national anthem sung by Lucy Pyle, who recently sang the national anthem before this team. You probably never heard of them before, the Boston Red Sox at Fenway Park. So for those of you who can stand, please stand for our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still Lucy Pyle, ladies and gentlemen. We are off to a rousing start with that. Thank you very much, Lucy. All right, before I introduce the Arlington Pop Warner cheerleaders, I want to introduce to you the select board chair of Arlington, Stephen DeCourcy. Steve? Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Town Day. We're not going to let a little rain stop us from having a great event. Um, we have an exciting day planned today. We've got music, we've got food, we've got demonstrations and activities with over 200 booths that will still be going forward on Mass Ave. The Boys and Girls Club, Fidelity House, and Arlington Recreation will still have fun activities for the kids behind the Citizens Bank in their parking lot. Don't forget to check out the RC Racetrack located in the parking lot behind the computer community center, excuse me, uh, on Peg Spengler Way, over by the library, Arlington firefighters will provide safety demonstrations, uh, including the Jaws of Life demonstration. The Metro Fire Safe, Safe Smokehouse will be operating, as well as our canine officer, Michael Hogan, with the Arlington Police Department's canine ICO, will be conducting demonstrations. We have special guests this year over at Peg Spengler Way. The U.S. Coast Guard Auxiliary Response Boat will also be located. I want to welcome everybody, along with my colleague Len Diggins, who is on the Town Day Committee and the other members of the Select Board. I want to recognize the people who put all this work together um, to get Town Day going. The Town Day Committee consists of Len Diggins, John Hurd, Kathleen Darcy, our Town Manager Jim Feeney, Jeff Monroe from ACMI, Ashley Marr, Britton Mallard, Caroline Caligaropoulos, and Katie Luzai. If you see them and you see them out on the booth in front, please thank them for all the work they do. They do work all year long. They'll start planning for next year. You don't want to hear from me all day. I am going to turn it back to Jeff. Hope everybody has a great day. We're planned for the weather. We, we thank you for coming here, and we're looking forward to a great program. Before I bring Jeff back, I just want to thank him. Jeff 
Barnd is the news director at ACMI. After six years of serving at ACMI, he's retiring the end of this month, and he has done an outstanding job serving the community, delivering news, and, and really making the product at the ACMI so great. So I want to thank Jeff and bring it back to him. All right, let's get this uh, party started, shall we? The Arlington Pop Warner Cheerleaders. Where are you folks? That was the Arlington Pop Warner cheerleading squad, ladies and gentlemen. Very good, very nice. That gets everybody's blood pumping. I was stamping my feet backstage. Is any podiatrists here? I need to talk to you after this is over. Uh, right now, I'd like to introduce the Arlington High School cheerleading squad. Come on up here.
Hi, I'm Paul Whirlin with ACMI News and welcome to Town Day 2024 on a rainy Saturday afternoon. There are a lot of people here though that have come out in the rain to enjoy Town Day despite the weather. So we're going to talk to a few folks and see what they are here for, what they came to see, what they came to hear and how to enjoy Town Day. If you're not here already, come on down. There's plenty to see and do and the rain's supposed to stop in about an hour. So come on down. Let's see what we have here. And we're here with a group of uh, teenagers. Are you guys all? Arlington Volleyball. Yeah! yeah. Would... Oh, this is yeah. just, we sold a lot of the good stuff. No, I'm saying a shirt. Oh, oh. Yeah, guys, come to the volleyball. Tell me your names. My name's Shayla. I'm Eli. My name's Fontmata. My name's Dagum. <laughs> Quinn. And what are you guys all here for? Arlington Volleyball. Oh, uh, you should come support, buy some baked goods yeah. or a shirt. Yep. So you came out despite the rain, but how's it going so far? Oh, I feel like if you're a wet duck, you can handle it. If you're not, <laughs> you get used to it. My feet are wet, but I'm still happy, and I'm selling great big goods. But there's plenty of people here, right? There's plenty of people. There's plenty of joy. How are there? You go. How many have you? How are sales so far? Sales are great. doing great. Yep. They're yep. doing great. Yep. Sales are great. We, we sold a lot thanks to uh, yours truly. <laughs> well, much success to you guys. Glad to see you and glad you came out even on a rainy day. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a great day. You too. Hello, my name is Hong Yiji. I'm reporting for ACMI here at the Arlington Town Day. And I am here with... Kate Milligan. Can you talk a little bit about your brand? Um, why are you here today? And um, I work for Yes, uh, your eco source. We're in Capitol Square in Arlington. Uh, we're a plastic-free shop, uh, so we carry products that help folks reduce waste. Uh, and we have a refillery. Uh, that's a pretty hot spot in the store where folks can come and refill their empty bottles with shampoo, conditioner, lotions, um, laundry detergent, other products for your home. Um, we also have some great gifts and other things uh, that people can feel good about gifting uh, because they're good for the planet. That's actually an awesome idea. Um, is this your first year participating in the event? Or like, how long have you been participating? I'm not sure. This is my first time tabling for the store. Uh, our owner is at the store right now, uh, keeping the, the doors open over there. This is my first time working at Town Day. I've been to Town Day, but not working. Yeah. Uh, so, like, how, how do you feel about like working here? Like, yeah, it's good. Uh, the rain slowed down a little. It was a little bit hectic to get set up and waterproof us, but it's been good. Yeah. Do you have something like some kind of, I like guess, signature item? Do you want to introduce uh, or? Signature item. I know yeah. we sell a lot of our dryer balls, which are pretty great for uh, reducing static and also reducing drying time. Um, we usually recommend folks have about four per per load of laundry. Um, yeah. We've got lots of great stuff, but those we sell a lot of those. The Swedish paper towels are really great. They have a lot of different purposes. And we recently just got some in the store that are really big that I'm excited to try. Thank you. Uh, hi, could you tell me your name and about your organization? Yeah, my name is Steven, and I'm here with Arlington for Palestine, which is a local organization uh, formed last year who um, 
likes to do a weekly standout um, on the corner of downtown. Um, and today we're here at Town Day doing um, a booth where we're celebrating um, different aspects of Palestinian culture, um, as well as selling a few items here on our table um, to support a kindergarten that's in the El Aida refugee camp, which is just outside of Bethlehem. They're in the middle of building a uh, additional classroom for their kindergarten, uh, which will increase their enrollment by 50%. So um, all of the proceeds for the different um, Palestinian artifacts, uh, we have some Tetris bookmarks, we have some um, soap from Nebus, uh, which is um, uh, imported from Palestine um, and made there as well. Um, and so all the proceeds from that today will in fact go um, to um, this kindergarten, which um, is partnering with a local organization called 143, which is based just over the, um, the next town over in Winchester. And how could people get involved? Absolutely. So we do, in fact, have a QR code here. So um, we love, we have so, several different opportunities and sort of avenues for folks who want to be involved um, for um, raising awareness for um, what's happening in Palestine right now. Um, and so uh, folks can come by our tent, scan our QR code, um, and then hit the option to say that you did um, meet us here at Town Day. Um, and then there's so many different ways and avenues for you to get involved with what we do here in town. Amazing. And um, how has your town day been so far? Town day's been great. We, you know, a little rainy, as we all know, but uh, we've had so many people come by and just show love and support. Um, and of course, I mean, Arlington's a lovely place, and so it's been it's been really fabulous. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Have a great town day. You guys. <laughs> this is Doug from ACMI, and we've got Thelma Goldberg. Oh, that's all right. And we've got an Arlington resident, too. <laughs> we've got Thelma Goldberg here, and she's going to talk a little bit about uh, her dance group. Thelma, why don't you talk a little bit about what's going on today for you at Town Day? Great. Today's one of our very favorite days. We love to perform in the community. Uh, we've been at the Regent Theatre for more than 15 years. I have two studios in the lower level, the underground, we call it. We're members of my dance company, both my teen company and my youth company, study on Tuesday, Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays. We offer classes in tap, jazz, ballet, hip hop, contemporary and modern. And our dancers are very well known for their upbeat, uh, positive performances. Uh, we don't do competitions. Instead, we participate in community events. Last weekend, we were part of the Bikeway Block Party in Lexington. Uh, and today, we're really happy to be part of Arlington Town Day. My dancer will be performing in a short time in Town Hall because of the rain today. Um, ordinarily, we love outdoor shows. Next week, actually, we're performing at Porch Fest, again in Lexington, but uh, we love also performing in Arlington whenever the opportunity arises. Uh, we also have, Leland mentioned it earlier as part of the Regent Theatre, but we have a very popular annual holiday show where we have three sold-out performances the first weekend of December, featuring not only our adult, our youth dancers, but also our adult dancers. Uh, we offer uh, more than seven classes a week in just adult tap, as well as two classes adult jazz and adult hip hop. We believe that dance is for everyone, and we offer classes for uh, anyone who wants to dance. We have another studio in Lexington, uh, but again, today is all about being part of the Arlington community. We're happy to be here at the Regent Theatre booth, uh, working with Leland and Mike, helping to spread the word about the good things happening at the Regent Theatre. That's great. Um, if people want to get involved, how can they get in touch with you? How can they contact you, sign up for classes, come look at performance times, things like that? What can they do? Uh, you can visit our website, which is www.thedanceinn.com. Uh, I called the studio The Dance Inn because I knew that it would become a home away from home for dancers. Uh, it started in my home, actually, in my living room 43 years ago. And I'm really excited that it continues to grow and thrive and serve a very dynamic community. And remind us again, what time are the dancers going to be performing here at Town Day? Uh, we are on stage about 11.15, so I'm heading in there right now to cheer on my dancers and support them. Great. So head on down to support the Dance in. Come see them at Town Day. Today, I'm here with... Hi, I'm Ko. Um, I'm Vera. Hi, this is Eden. And Taiwan Film Festival team. So tell us a little bit about your business or your organization. Yeah, sure. Um, so we are Taiwan Film Festival of Boston, and we are screening movies, Taiwanese movie, and 
AMC Theater in Boston Common, next to Boston Common, actually, the theater next to Boston Common. And uh, features on, um, like, uh, short movies and anime and also Taiwanese movies. And we are bringing directors and actors from Taiwan to here Boston to do all the workshop, like interviews with them. Yeah. And here are some souvenirs from Taiwan. And yeah, we're just promoting our event next week here. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and so, uh, what is your favorite thing about doing this? About running this organization? What do you help? What do you hope to achieve from this? So, so I think uh, we would like to in, uh, introduce the culture of Taiwan to the American, and hope everyone can uh, join us together to celebrate our friend and our friend and uh, um, like enjoy the magic of the movies. Yeah. And one last question, where can we find you guys? Online, on anywhere, do you have an address, location? Our Instagram or Facebook here. Yeah, Yeah. just type in Taiwan Film Festival and you will find us online. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you very much, thank you. Thank you. ACMI productions are only made possible with your support. Visit patreon.com slash ACMI to learn how you can help.